Good morning. Are you doing all right yourself? Oh man, we're blessed that uh, God puts air in our lungs and food in the table and energy in our step. Okay. Just wanted to, I just heard there were protesters up front. We're not, we're not protesting. Take a look. Yeah. Our, our love love, are you guys, um, are you guys a Christian church? Yes. Okay. So you, um, you don't believe uh, in, you know, like the things that God hates as, as good things, right? In terms of what you guys are talking about, I there, I think it's more complicated than that. I would prefer people didn't get an abortion, but I don't think it should be illegal because right. I don't think it's my place to legislate other people's morality. So when, when, when in, in, in the rape. Bible, in the first book of the Bible, Genesis, when God declares uh, in Genesis 9-6, man sheds blood by man's blood, his own blood should be shed. It, it's actually his first step into... Uh, into uh, civil government and how we should respond to murderers. Like, what, do you think a rapist should be allowed to run out free? Should we make rape illegal? How about, like, child molestation? I don't want to get into this argument with you guys. Right? Why not? How about pedophilia? Because I have other things that I need to be doing. I just wanted to come out and see what you guys are up to. So. Okay, I'd encourage you to stop, like, discriminating against people based on their age. Because you would want the murder of born people to be illegal, right? But if you're saying it's you, you don't want it to be illegal for preborn people, you're making a distinction based on age, right? I will, I will tell you this. I will tell you this. According to most pre-enlightenment Christian and Judaic faith, a person is not a human until they take their first breath. Oh, well, that's, that's, that's not what the true. Bible indicates. No, that is true. Well, let I me, believe let me, me. Let me Let me share something to you. When Jesus Christ, when Jesus Christ was in his mother's fallopian tube. So when, when, when Mary found out she was pregnant, right? Yeah. She, she was told uh, by an angel that she was pregnant, right? Yeah. And what did she do? She went to go see who? Martha. She went to see uh, Martha. And then what, was Martha pregnant? Yeah. I think it was Elizabeth. Yeah, or, yeah Elizabeth. 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 So um, Elizabeth was pregnant with who? John. John the Baptist, right? Okay. And John the Baptist did what? In, left in the womb. He left in the womb. Okay. So that journey is is about, uh, uh, you know, some people, you know, will say it could be between two and three days. Okay. That journey from where uh, Mary uh, mm -hmm. traveled to meet Elizabeth. If we look at biology, Jesus the Christ, our Messiah, would have been what? Would have still been in Mary's fallopian tube. She had, Jesus had not even implanted yet in her uterus so what you what you say about the first breath is, yeah. is, is incorrect even in the book of jeremiah it says jesus knew us before the foundation of the world that he knew us he he fearfully and wonderfully knit us knit who us us creating his image back to the first book of Gen you know book, first book anyway, of the I don't Bible, I don't so think either of us you, are going to change each other's minds I, I, well the Holy I, Spirit I, can change your mind I, the Holy I, Spirit can I, I believe that the Holy Spirit can change your mind and okay I so that's why it's good to talk to I honestly I, what is your standard for the truth is it not the Holy Bible because you're rejecting the Bible as the standard like the book of Jeremiah he says that you didn't kill me when I was in the womb you can't be killed unless you're alive. So that means you're alive in the womb. <laughs> you know? Like, I, say, I, I have other things I need to deal with inside in terms of talking to congregants and things like that. But you came I would, out. There's I, a reason you came I out. Can't, all anyone told me was that there were protesters out here. I didn't know what you were protesting. I didn't know what kind of signs you guys had up and things like that. I would really prefer if you were not on... On the public sidewalk? On our part of the public sidewalk, I you don't, I, you don't I, own I know it. I can't, see, no, let me finish. No, 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 I can't sir, make sir, you. I can't make you leave. You've already identified. You've already identified yourself with someone who can't be fair, someone who can't be just. I I can't make you not be on the public. You've already said that the, the children me, in the womb are not worthy of life. You've already said that, my I friend. I didn't say that. You did. No. You said it's a choice to murder them. I, you're you're putting words in my mouth. First off, and secondly. All I'm saying, I know I can't make you leave, but I would prefer it if for the comfort of my congregation, if for the comfort of people who don't want to come out and see this, you at least went to the other side of the road. Yeah, we're not about God making people comfortable. Right now is God wants you right where you are right now, 
listening to the truth so you can be reconciled with him, so you can hear the truth, my right, friend. I'm going that is what inside. he wants. See, and now you're going to go hide in darkness. And now you're going to go hide in darkness. You're going to go back in your safe space. Now I'm going to go get ready for other things I have to do. For your religious services, so these people can give their money and you can service them. Sir, that's a, it's a farce. It's a lie, sir. So I pray that you read the Bible and that you do not submit to a man like that. I was just wondering, why did you have to pick this particular church? We go to different churches, yeah. and like we were down at that institution. We saw this institution. Um, are you ELCA? Yes. So do you support like homosexuality and abortion? I have to admit that I, uh, I'm not going to tell my wife what she has to do with her, her body. If she's going to use her body to kill another person? Would you say That's, the same thing to a rapist that wants to rape someone? Would you say you're not going to tell them not to what not to do to another body? I'm not sure what you're what you're saying. Well, you just said you're not going to tell your wife that she can't murder your child, right? You got the body camera. Why do you use the body cameras? We we do it for everybody's protection and so we can keep ourselves accountable. So, and I, I mean, expose so evil you people. Talk about being fair and equal to everybody, but all you got four people here just talking with me four upon one. You got the body cameras. Run. I don't have a body sure, camera. Go, go invite everybody out here. So, what we, you can even the odds. If but I'm like. just just kind of interested in, in, in your way of thinking of what's what's fair and what should be done with others. People, it seems like they can always justify what what they want to do sure. uh, in their own minds. Sure, and the right. Bible, as you, I'm sure that you read through the Bible. Yes. I read through the entirety of the Bible at least once and I found some really interesting things and I'm going to have to read through it again to say is this really is this really what the Bible is saying yeah There's some I, I encourage you to do that I, I pray and that I, you do I yeah. hope you would read through it again we, we do regular in fact we actually keep each other accountable on a weekly basis you know we, we let each other you know when we're not in fellowship you know because you can't just you know, can't be with, you know unless we live together or something like that you know uh, but we see each other you know once or twice a week and we keep each other accountable, make sure that, you know, and, and the, these, these are an extension to that because we're not always out with other people. Sometimes we're out alone. And, you know, sometimes it's a deterrent for people that are evil. Sometimes it keeps people honest, it keeps the police honest or people that are seeking to do ill towards towards other people. And, and, and all I do is I, I pray that you listen to the conversation that we had with that gentleman. Um, what, test what we're saying. Test what we're saying. Um, the truth is, is that the Bible says we are created in His image, and if we if we decide that we're going to murder a child based on um, a woman's right, where does that end? See, what's the difference between a child that's just been delivered and a child that is two days away from delivery? There's no difference. It's a location where that child is. They are human from the very very second that conception happens. When the sperm penetrates the ovum, new life is written. The book of when the God refers to the book of life, think think of DNA code. The, the entire their complete DNA, everything about them, their sex, the color of their eyes, how tall they're going to be, what they're going to look like, everything about them has already been determined. God has fearfully and wonderfully knit them. You could take that DNA code, run whether, it to the moon, and they happen back. to be mongoloid or uh, you know, the Down Down syndrome. That's all. That all takes place at the time of the sperm. Yeah, yeah. I, I have. I is have, that a punishment by God? So, so no. No. I, I actually think Down syndrome is a blessing from God because it. I, I have watched parents with with Trisomy 21 children, and it is such a blessing. It brings out the glory of Christ when I see these parents interact with this child and I see a, a child so innocent and gleeful and and just just without you know the the world like crushing their you know their idols you know they they you know, Jesus Christ says you need to believe like a little child and and I believe a Down syndrome child also known as Trisomy 2021 20, those children are a blessing because not only to not only to the world but to the to their parents and and to the witness that can be done and if if you look based on what what the, I don't know if you refer to him as a pastor but if if you if you historically look at Down syndrome you don't see many kids with Down syndrome anymore, young kids. You want to know why? Because 93% of them are murdered in the womb. 
93% of them. And, and, and out of those 90, a lot of them, and the tests to identify them are proven wrong. So not only are they murdering Down syndrome babies, they're murdering, uh, you know, babies without Down syndrome. They're just murdering. God doesn't say you can murder someone when. He says, thou shall not murder. And so you would also oppose our intervention in Iraq and Iran, Korea. Uh, yeah, anytime we anytime so, we seek to do we do evil that good may come, we are operating against God. We are operating against God. I think we, the, 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 this this country is under judgment. We have we have invoked and participated in wicked wars that are none of our business. And right now. Right now where? And right now, should we be withdrawing our troops and bringing them home because they are... We should not be engaging in other people's foreign affairs if we are not willing to take on the own tyranny and the own, um, the own, uh, our own murder that's taking place. We murder, we murder over a million children in our own state. What business do we have going to tell, tell people, hey, what you're doing is wrong when we murder our own children? in this country. It, it, it's wicked. Yeah. Okay, but I can look forward to seeing you at anti-war protests and at the, the, the rally that's being held downtown. You'll be going there. Well, we, we are going to be where we think, where we think God wants us to be. Like God says to interpose on those being drawn to death. So like where we can physically be and things like that, um, we we will be. Places where we, we can't physically be, we will, we, we will be as vocal as we as we can but when we know there's a place and a time where children are being murdered and we have an opportunity to stop that we will that's what we do if we have an opportunity to come out to people that claim to be christians and, and bomb abortion clinics perhaps no way why would you say that okay because there have been uh, so, so i won't why, say why your you... group but members who are people that believe that's like what, you that yeah believe no 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 sir clinic. That's like saying a, a person robbed a place, therefore we in. must be robbers. I was just checking in. Yeah, it's called, you know, it's called, Guys, it's called a straw man. pedestrian traffic. Please it's called move. a straw No, we're not, yeah. we're not I'm impeding anyone. Trying to walk by. All right. See, you see, do you see that? You see what he just did? Well, I see that. He's the, focusing on, 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 on <laughs> nonsense. But if I, if I understand all, you correctly. All I'm saying is that he's got one camera, you got four, and you seem to be upset that he's so you're making a I'm not upset. Yeah. I, I hope he does. I hope he takes a picture. I hope he sends it to the police. I hope he puts it on Facebook. And he reveals himself. His own heart is revealed by his actions. Have you been born again? Have I been born again? Yes. I was baptized in a Lutheran church, an Emmanuel Lutheran church on the east side of Aurora. Do you know what it means to be born again? I believe that people who say, do you know what it is to be born again, possibly don't understand themselves. Well, what does it mean? Where do we get our where, where do we get truth? The Bible tells us what it means to be born again, right? It means the Holy Spirit how comes many, to live inside of you. How many people have been born without sin and who live without sin and are perfect? Nobody. The Bible says no one, not one of us Just is Jesus. righteous. Yeah. That's Jesus. why we need the Holy Spirit to change our hearts. Wait, 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 wait. But Jesus, you know what? And I can I would not debate that with you. I can, I can certainly agree with you on that so what's how many his, books what's of the bible purpose? did jesus write all of them <laughs> he is the okay. word that's what john one says he is the word the logos if you read the book of romans it says when, when 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 jesus comes back what does it say on his thigh who is jesus okay. who, who, i don't who, i don't have the i don't have the yeah. bible it, it, it says it says it, it, it says jesus it. coming back is literally translated the word of God. In the beginnings was the word, and the word became what? And the word became flesh. flesh. Right. So the word of God, the Bible, what He's given us, so that we can know Him. But Jesus, is, is my understanding, did not actually write. I mean, He could have written the Bible because. What well, are you talking about? Literally old, transcribing, well, or inspiring Jesus, those that wrote it. The old ah, there you go. The inspiration. So who all, wrote the yeah. Old Testament? For so example? all scriptures God, God. read. And, and, and do you that. throw away the Old Testament and say we're, we're only going to believe 
what was written after Jesus. No, because Jesus said, I'm just trying I, to understand. Yeah, I'm trying Jesus to carry says, on the conversation. Not, I have not with, come to abolish. So, so that, that because I've also, had questions in my mind. Yeah, so all, so, I'm not all scripture is God breathed, and that demonstrates his magnificence and his power that, that he was able to reveal the truth of his word through imperfect men. So, does the earth literally have corners then? Uh, no, there's actually metaphorical language in the Bible. Yeah, like... But that doesn't mean the Bible is not the Word of God. Do you believe that there's different genres in the Bible? I absolutely believe okay. there's different okay. genres in the Bible. So I the, I'm, tr I'm, trying to, I'm trying to figure out what, why uses a lot of the four lot, corners. uses a lot of metaphor and simile. We and don't, that, we don't so need by to... the Word, he means that Jesus is the prophesied of the Word. We don't need to even, like, ground our argument in John 1. We could just... Talk about the fact that Jesus is God, mm -hmm. right? Agreed. You affirm the deity of yep, I do. our Lord Jesus, and then um, that all Scripture is God breathed. Theonoustos is the word in the Greek. It means that God literally breathed out the words. That when men led by the Holy Spirit, carried along by the Holy Spirit, penned the words of Scripture, that those were God's words that they were writing. So if Jesus is God, and if that's true, then Jesus is the God that breathed and inspired. All of scripture. Okay, come right on out. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I mean, that's a that's a traditional Orthodox understanding of the infallibility and inspiration. See, but uh, yeah, I don't I don't believe that the Bible is infallible. Oh, you don't? Okay. I don't. All right. The, the so it's not the Word of God. The Lutheran tradition as a whole does not believe that the Bible is infallible. Okay. So then, it's not the Word of God, right? Does God make mistakes? Does, no, but does, people do. Does God not communicate with us? God does, but we misunderstand it sometimes. Yeah, where, where is so then how, how do we know I don't, I don't, how do we know what the revelation of God is if any any part of it could be fallible and any, any part of it could be wrong? How do we know any of it is wrong? Like, how do you know the Bible is the word of God if it's fallible? It's a very good question. Okay, so, but it, the, the reason that you know it's infallible is because if it, if it was fallible, you wouldn't be able to know anything in the first place because you get knowledge from God. We need revelation from well, God to have knowledge. Why does Genesis one contradict Genesis two? Yeah, it does. What's the contradiction that you? Because in Genesis one, man is made last. In Genesis two, man is made first. In the order of creation. No. Yes. Genesis one is an overview of the history of creation. Genesis two zooms in on God's creation of man. The easy answer. You can harmonize scripture. You know. I know, but I'm just gonna, if, you're, if you're saying it's... We'll go there. Well, I'm, it's I'm, not a contradiction. I'm, I'm going there, man. I'm we'll going to go there, there with we'll you. We'll take a look at it. All right, so Genesis...